Okay, uh, someone had asked me regarding the big gym um, whether it's spicy. Actually, it does have a little uh, kick to it, a, a little bite to it, not too, too spicy. I would say uh, medium to probably lower than medium, probably uh, mild to medium, I would say, uh, because uh, I have been picking this, I should have showed you, but that day it was just too muggy, very, very humid, and it started raining. So we went ahead and started picking fast. And as you can see, that's the big gem, and they, let's just say they're mild, milder than jalapeno, okay? Jalapeno put a little more heat than what my big gym is right here this big gym uh, peppers that I have here not as spicy as my jalapenos which as you can see is still putting out lots of fruit I have been uh, harvesting them putting in with my cooking I have made some jalapeno pepper which everybody loved and I might even put that on my recipe in my cooking channel I might okay so we are doing a lot of picking today uh, but mainly cleaning up because after humidity and heavy rain uh, that can only cause one thing as you you know I mean yes it can cause several other things but mainly is the mold because of the moisture so we have been cleaning up and picking as we go along i will show you what we pick today once we're done okay i look at my bitter melon what it looks like right now as you can see really putting out some fruits now and to give you an idea of I can hardly reach it how big they are oh, here goes a lower one as you can see that's a very good one this is nice and really fat right here 2.5 inches in diameter I would say and it's so cloudy that I hope uh, it shows better than what my lens is showing it. Let me go on the other side. I'll show you a very nice, uh, very nice size of bitter melon. Let me go and show you this uh, bitter melon here. We, we are going to pick some of this bitter melon today. Very nice. As you can see, this is ready for picking. I pick them when they, they start looking plump like this, very shiny and plump, because within two to three days, this will start turning color and you will not be able to eat it uh, at that point because the seeds will be maturing inside, turning yellow. And I never had never eaten uh, bitter melon once they turned the the color once once it start turning yellow okay so I don't know if you can eat bitter melon once it turned yellow but I never had so it's looking very nice out here is putting out some fruit and I show you what it looks like uh, inside this uh, canopy now let me show you one that I do not harvest well two on that side there because if you look if we look closely the ridges are quite uh, tight let me see if I could get even closer um, here's one I mean this one can also be picked at this point if you want but this still got at least a day or two 
to go ridges are still kind of tight so I would leave this but I will be picking quite a few such as those up there and if I focus closer you can see that uh, the ridges are nice and plump and shiny which shows and tells me that it's ready for harvesting Uh, we have been pulling or picking some fruit that has been have been affected by the bugs and as you can see this is my Cherokee purple lots of beautiful big big fruit take a look at that and the size of this one that is nice and let me I want I'm trying to get close so I could show you what the bugs are doing as you can see right there where the bugs have been nibbling on them we've been picking them hand picking them including cutworms and other type of caterpillar uh, it's just devastating my tomato as you can see but I should be able to pick a good amount of it that are not affected or not nibbled on by the bugs there should be a like this one here is in good shape and lots of them but uh, we have been hand picking all of the bugs we could find because as you know I don't like to spray my plant and on a worst case scenario, I would use uh, DE or diatomaceous earth, which I don't always, even that, I don't always use, but uh, I have not used it this year, but I don't know whether if I'm considering whether I should start treating them with my DE or diatomaceous earth because of the weather. It has been raining almost daily now, week after week, and... Uh, as you know that diatomaceous earth is not very good once it, get, it gets wet it has to stay uh, dry for it to be effective and because of that I have been holding back on the treatment oh pardon me here I go wandering around again with my eyes instead of my uh, camera but anyway so this side of my garden we are working on finding all the bugs uh, devastating my tomato fruits meanwhile you can see that my loofah here is doing very well and as a matter of fact it is starting to put out some fruits I, let me show you it is starting yeah there goes the blooms as you can see see those buds right there starting to put out some buds if you pardon just pardon the camera please because the humidity just would not allow it to focus well but uh, there's one female loofah there as you can see and there goes our friend right there busy uh, pollinating so hopefully we'll be picking some uh, Lufa very soon or patola okay um, over here actually on this side I can show you that on this side of the canopy um, it's starting to put out some fruits as well this is the bitter melon fruits which I wasn't able to show you from the from inside shot and out here as you can see take a look at this this is perfect a very perfect uh, example of uh, bitter melon that is ready for picking see how nice and shiny that is shine on that
plump uh, ridges that's perfect perfect for harvest right there okay so today we'll be harvesting some eggplants and uh, tomatoes and um, bitter melon and I guess that's it for now what we're going to pick today but uh, let me show you one more time what this canopy looks like with my bitter melon plant uh, putting out some fruits right now as well as my tomatoes which although being devastated by caterpillars are putting out a really good amount of fruits as you can see okay